best wife ever here at Liberty V Justice reminding you that you are worth it. Vales mucho, so don't use the word homeless if you like yourself or anybody else even a tiny bit. Remember that you're worth it and so is everybody else because homeless is just a way of saying somebody's homeless is just a way of judging other people, okay, to make yourself feel better about yourself because you hate yourself so dang on much, all right? Now, so I use the word homeless because it shows up in SEO and it's a lot more understandable to other people. I am full of love, so I like that word, but you know, heart heart full, big heart, whatever. Anyway, I have an unfair advantage and that my homelessness helps heal my poverty. Now, we can go into this later how homelessness helped me develop the fruits of the Spirit. Patience, love, kindness. I ask God for those things every day. I ask God for wisdom. I, I used to say, why did this happen to me? But then I started saying, whenever anything bad happened, not just this, I would say, God, what do you want me to get from this now? So that's what I'm learning. I'm learning so much. And it gave me the choice to say, hey, I ain't got no options. What? What are y'all going to do to me? You know what I mean? Like, I, I was sick. I had cancer. Praise the Lord. I'm healed from that. I still have some health issues going on. You know, that was three years ago when I first, uh, the Lord first liberated me of my home. I didn't lose anything. I gained everything because now I know what life is all about. It's about giving. It's about love. And I'm here for you. I'm going to show y'all that you're worth it, that you can do anything you want to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it, and you can do it better, okay? So, you know, I believe this is my distinct advantage. This is my unfair advantage. You know, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because sympathy doesn't do anything. So check it out. I have the advantage of being homeless because I have to learn to work around everybody else's schedules. I have to learn to work with people. You know what I mean? And I never had to do that before. I always, well... I probably should have though because I just ran away and I was running away from myself. I was running away from my destiny, my future, this greatness that God put in me, that he put in you to show you that you are worth it. Okay, so now that I know that I'm worth it, I got to tell everybody else and show y'all. So y'all saw the banner. Today's show is the top first three things out of the 10 things that I cannot put into my bank account. Okay, excuses is number one. So we're going to go into three things, excuses, complaining, and explaining. Leaders don't do those things. Godly people don't do those things. We just get the job done because we got to move on and do what God wants us to do because we only have so much time on this earth and we don't know how long that is. So, okay, so I want y'all to love yourselves, okay? So excuses. Number one, grandma told me this this saying that I'm going to tell you, but so did Jim Rohn, so did Tony Robbins, so did Brendan Burchard, so did Marie Forleo, and if you watch all the great speakers of the world, and if you watch all the authors, and you read books, and all those things, you will see that that's how we got get our experience, yeah, that's how we got our experience, is becoming great, is because terrible things happen, you can't write a book unless you had a life experience, okay, and you can't make movies or do any of those creative things unless you had bad things happen to you in your life, but you conquered and overcome, you know, Benny, Vitti, Vici. Okay, that wasn't the same. Anyway, the point is, Grandma said, if you want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So I wanted to lose 200 pounds, so I did. I'm going to put that article below if you want to read that. I lost 200 pounds, and it's because this guy was beating me, calling me fat, ugly, stupid every day, and then I had an article when I got my master's degree, I had my very first worldwide article published through the war cry for the Salvation Army um, called Battered to Bless, and I got paid $256.50 for that, my very first time. And thank you to my ex in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm sure you're still there. And thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you all for watching. So excuses. If you want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Thank you, Grandma. She's in her mansion with Jesus. Thank you, Jim Rohn. Thank you, Brendan Burchard. Thank you, Tony Robbins. Thank you, Marie Forleo. All these great people, okay, who have said this and have showed me the way, okay? Second, complaining. They'll all tell you, all those people I told you, complaining, it does nothing but put you on the complaining train. Woo, woo. Everybody around you is going to hear it. They're going to get on. You're going to have a whole bunch of cars going, and you're going to be on a fast track to nowhere land, all right? Okay, complaining, don't do it. Keep it out your mouth. It'll bring you down. And if people hear it, they're going to complain too. And you don't want to hear all that. So excuses, complaining. One more thing, explaining.
people ask me, how am I, go- how are you, Liberty, how do you expect to have a gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, whole foods restaurant giving away free food to everybody? And I say, well, help or hinder. Do you want to help? And usually they shut up. Because, you know, I shouldn't say shut up. Usually they stop talking because one way you could help is sharing. Sharing my shows, sharing my channel, subscribing, you know, sharing it on all your formats, talking to me, talking to people about me, you know, but talk to me, tell me who you are because I appreciate y'all watching. And all my goals, including the restaurant with free food for everybody nationwide, is going to happen because you know what? Liberty V Justice happened to homelessness. Homelessness didn't happen to me because I happen to things. You see, it's gonna happen. My name is Liberty V Justice, and there's no period in my V because my victories never end, and yours don't have to either, my friends. Holla! You are worth it. Vales mucho. Thank you.